Well, it's still early days in terms of getting the information, but it looks like yet another indication of the huge risk that we face from Islamist extremist terror in Europe after the attacks in Paris, after events here uh, in America. Now we see this, and it just underlines that our intelligence and security agencies need to work together very closely, that we have to uh, remain extremely vigilant, uh, and that we have to take all the steps we can uh, to beat this evil. There is a, a broad agreement that we need to have uh, the powers to, uh, in extremists, intercept communications between terrorists. That is what uh, America does today. It is what Britain does today. We share the intelligence and information between us. And this has saved countless lives, not just in Britain and America, but in other countries as well. Well, I've seen uh, pictures on the internet or already, and I think the important thing is that we have a system with free speech and freedom of expression so that if newspapers want to publish something within the law, they can. There should never be the case of a politician or prime minister telling a newspaper or magazine to publish something or not to publish something. They are free to publish what they want within the law. That's my job, is to defend that system, and I'll do that with in, gusto. In